Hello everyone, it's Constance. If you've been following my blog, my personal blogs, you'll know that I've been on hormone replacement therapy for almost a year and a half now. It's crazy. And it's done wonders for me. I'm wishing um, things would progress a little bit faster. Um, but that's just because I'm a very impatient person. Yeah. <laughs> so, the gender affirming care clinic is called uh, Mosaic Health and Healing Arts. And they are in Goshen, Indiana, which is about 25 to 30 minutes from where I live. So, it's a little bit of a journey. Um, and I got the recommendation from my previous um, primary care provider uh, when I asked her about getting on to hormone replacement therapy and she was like I'm not well versed on that uh, but I did find this clinic for you and I was just like oh brilliant so yeah so I started going there and it was remarkable it was part of the greatest things about coming out as trans for me. Just the other day, I got a letter in the mail saying that the clinic would be closing. And I'm gonna quote a little bit from that letter. Unfortunately, the ongoing political and legislative climate regarding gender-affirming care in our state and country has had a direct impact on our safety and viability as an organization. My world caved in. Where was I going to go? If I released my medical records to my primary care physician, who is different now than who I had when I first started this, would she know what levels to test for? What my levels should be at? I, I, I just started just really I didn't freak out per se. I, I, I just got very worried about my care. My husband did a little bit of research and he found out that our local Planned Parenthood facility, which is just like three minutes down the road, is now doing gender affirming care. Yay, it's Ethan Gas Money. <laughs> uh, it's it's local, but I'm I I just I worry that I'm not gonna get the same kind of personal treatment that I felt I got at Mosaic. I don't wanna be I don't wanna feel like it's clinical. If that makes any sense. But at least it's an option. And they're going to have people there that specialize in gender affirming care. And that is important. So very important. In other news, my 30th high school reunion is about a week and a half away, and I 
I, I, this is going to be the first time that I've been in person with my classmates as a trans woman. I mean, there are a lot of my friends on Facebook that know that I've transitioned. Excuse me. Um, I don't know if some have unfriended me, um, because I went through a lot of friends after my transition. I had like 1,064 friends on Facebook and I dropped down to like 1,003. over a period of time and so I don't know what to expect and considering that I was bullied severely in high school um, and not even for being trans just for being effeminate and quote unquote gay um, it was it was the 90s. Nobody talked about transgender people. It was either you're gay or you're a cross-dresser. So yeah. So it's going to be interesting. I have a little bit of anxiety about it, but I'm going to go looking my best. And I have an outfit all lined up and accessories. And I think this is going to be a, a good event. I get to be back in my hometown. Uh, it's about an hour and a half north of where I live right now. And my husband and I are going to stay at a hotel for that night so that way I can partake in some libation and not have to worry about driving home for an hour and a half. Um, and he is fine to keep himself occupied. He doesn't want to go. He has social anxiety and, and it is kind of crippling for him. Um, so, he at least agreed to get a hotel room, provide me a ride there, and pick me up when everything was said and done. And then the next day when we leave the hotel, we're going to visit my mother, and I just found this out. My strange sister is going to be there, as she is staying with my mother for an indefinite amount of time. And this will be the first time that she's seen me in years, much less transitioned. I mean, she's seen me in drag before, but this is something totally different. My body has changed. My face has changed a little bit. Um, I look older <laughs> than when I last saw her, I'm sure. Um, and things aren't I guess kosher between us she's expressed issues with me over the years and she's distanced herself from me and I've put all that aside. And have been wanting to reconcile with her, but she hasn't been ready. And, and those things take time. I just wish I fully understood what it was all about. I only know vague ideas. So, so yeah, so it's, 
so it's gonna be interesting. So I have to look my best that day too. So I need to come up with a secondary outfit, something out of my closet. I'm not gonna buy something new just because my sister's there. But I gotta find something in my closet that is flattering and complimentary to who I am. It's constant. And that's going to be another thing, too. Is that my mom, she's getting used to using my name, Constance. And every once in a while, she'll flip and use my dead name. Or use the he, him pronouns. Uh, in, in text form, she, she catches herself. But when she's speaking, she, it, it's hard for her to catch herself. Um, but I correct her, and my sister has no experience in dealing with my new name and my pronouns. So I'm feeling it's going to be a lot of me going, no, it's fine for now. Just try. No, it's fine for now. Just try. Please. Okay, I've asked you to try. If you're refusing to use my new name and or my pronouns, we're going to have further problems. So, I hope that's not going to be the case, because I don't want any more division between my sister and I. And, I mean, just me transitioning could be enough of a trigger for her that she just can't handle it. And, although we grew up together... And we always played make-believe together, and I was always wanting to be a female, like, a sister, or a cousin, or something, or Daphne from Scooby-Doo, or Marsha Brady, or any number of female characters, and sometimes I'd make her be a male character. Just because I wanted to be the only female character that was available for whatever reason we were playing make-believe. It's not like she's new to the concept. It's not like she's new to the concept. <laughs> so that is going to do it, I think. Uh, uh, <laughs> I will give an update after uh, everything is said and over about the reunion, about the reunion with my sister, um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, love and light to you all.